Paris. <laughs> anyway, we was arguing, and I and, and I told her she smelled like dirty bed sheets, and she uh. called me a nigga. And I, <laughs> Paris Hilton called you a nigga? Yeah. She calls every all black people niggas. So anyway. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. I mean, and I was like, I was like, for real, I'm about to fuck you up. And you heard pop, pop. And I'm like, we're in Nobu. Why would there be shooting, you know, in Nobu? Yeah. And I'm sitting here confused. This Paris Hilton literally goes to the bathroom. Yes. <laughs> Messes up her hair ah, and goes screaming out. Oh, don't know. We don't know what happened. This bitch was looking for the paparazzi. She wanted to be the first one. Shots fired and this bitch is ready for a photo hop. Wow. <sighs> I'm like, the fuck? I go to walk out. They got Suge. Suge was laid on his stomach. And you can see they had shot him in the ass because he had the red stay. <laughs> he was on his stomach. And they rolled his ass out of Nobu. I never seen people so happy to see somebody get shot. Like literally, we walked out. Like, he was like, "Yo, did you mention. hear? Sure got shot." I was like, "That's who that big nigga was. His face was there." They was like, "Yeah, they shot him in the ass." <laughs> they was let everybody just that, that was and that was it. Did you hear? Sure got shot. Yeah, they shot him in the ass. <laughs> Damn, okay. <laughs> you were there. You, yeah. you were there. Um, so I don't know. Last I was we should have started talking back then. <laughs> I was gonna say, uh, can you explain your connection or just where you were at or around and who for Bad Boy Records and Uptown Records? Just anyone within that, just what is your connection at all to any of that, if anything? My di- direct connection would be, I'll be sure at this point. Um, I was always around, see? Like, you got to understand, dibbling and dabbling in the dark arts and sex world and being a ghostwriter and then being a public artist, I'm kind of living a double life anyway. But I knew Kim and I knew Kimora. We weren't friends. I wasn't a part of their clique. But we all partied together. They should do a documentary. They did a documentary about Freaknik. They should do a documentary about the Kit Kat Club. Ooh. It was an old theater that had been renovated into a nightclub. And, you know, all of the old, like, opera seats were VIPs, private VIPs. Everything happened in there. And, and you know, they had the... It was Diddy's idea to pass out the opera glasses so people could spy on each other while they were fucking in each other's shit. Eyes wide shut. It was, it was wild. He, it, that was at the beginning. The Kit Kat Club was the beginning of him going from Puffy to Diddy. You know what I mean? 